it's not true. Question number three. Sarah Dowry. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance. What international reports has he received showing New Zealand's economic growth remains robust? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, the OECD uh, recently released its six-month economic outlook, uh, forecasting that New Zealand will continue to grow at around 3% over the next two years, uh, moved along by high net immigration, rapid growth in housing, construction and a flourishing tourism sector. It forecasts unemployment will drop to 4.9 per cent, that wage growth is strong in construction, finance and health care. The OECD points out that the government's books are in reasonable shape. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Sarah Dowling. Uh, to the Minister, what does the OECD report say about New Zealand's fiscal position and resilience? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, the OECD points to, I think, well understood risks to the resilience of the New Zealand economy, and that is uh, house prices, household debt and the economic prospects of our trading partners. Uh, however, a number of factors uh, maintain New Zealand's ability to deal with any external or internal uh, economic challenges, uh, relatively low net debt and government surpluses. They point out New Zealand has room for further monetary policy stimulus if necessary and notes that the Reserve Bank has tightened loan to value ratios in the housing market. Supplementary. Supplementary question. How does New Zealand's economic and fiscal position compare to other OECD countries? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, pretty good. The OECD counts New Zealand as one of seven, seven countries in the OECD as being on track to a fiscal surplus. Over the next two years, New Zealand will be in the top third of OECD countries on the following measures, fiscal balance, gross debt, net debt, GDP growth and fixed capital formation. Order. 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 The level of interjection now coming from my immediate left has been continual since the start of question time. If I need to ask a member to leave to get some cooperation from my left, I will certainly not hesitate to do so. Supplementary question, Sarah Dowie. Uh, to the Minister, what reports has he received on the economic outlook in the United Kingdom and how does this compare to New Zealand? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, we've often compared ourselves uh, with the UK and last week they released their autumn statement. Uh, growth in the UK has been revised down to 1.4 per cent and is expected to stay below 2 per cent through to 2021. Uh, will I try to balance their budget between 2020 and 2025, uh, uh, where New Zealand government's net debt is tracking down to 20% of GDP. The UK net debt is now expected to peak at 90% of GDP in 2018. Question number four.